Hey guys, welcome back to my Shadow the Hedgehog. In this part, we're going to finish off the hero path that we were taking. So, cutscene. The truth is. Yeah, 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 yeah. We kept stuff. Do bad, because I'm going to be evil. Shadow, look! Up there! Huh? What is that? Once every 50 years, that black comet passes by this planet. <laughs> oh, do you think those black creatures are somehow connected with that comet? Black comet. <clears throat> Shadow, what's wrong? Well, I think you're right. I feel it. But right there, that's where the answers are. And I've got to get to that comet. Okay, I just take the comet observatory and fly by a certain planet. It will be there. What kind of comet? Is it a beer comet or is it a, is it a purple coin comet? It looks kind of like blue, so maybe it's a cosmic race comet. Okay, whatever. This is the final level of the hero path, final haunt. Now, this level I've actually show, you know, be showcased, but this level was featured on my channel before in a glitch video, so I will show off that glitch. It's not a very complicated glitch. In this area, there are a lot of enemies throughout this level, and you can take a lot of hits in this level. I'm just gonna say that now. This level is actually kind of difficult to an extent. Surprise attack coming from above! But yeah, uh. Just be careful, don't run too fast, take your time a little bit, and be sure to kill a lot of these enemies because you can get some. Uh, you can get chaos control from them. And that will speed up the process. I'm gonna kill this guy too. Just cause. So they give you like tons of points, it's ridiculous. And, this, and by the way, this ring gun is very useful, it's very powerful. And it has a lot of ammo. The only downside is it's kind of small and might hit some other obstacles because of how huge it is. This guy with a hammer, he can block attacks, which is kind of annoying. But Sonic is very useful against these guys, because homing attacks work very effectively on this guy. Make sure to have Sonic attack that guy, because he will definitely destroy it. Apparently, there's a new guy. Okay, I'll just skip that for now. So, like, I already have Chaos Control. And the higher your hero meter is at the time, the more chaos control will give you. Here's actually what the glitch is. And these guys are kind of annoying. They can teleport around, but they do have a very useful gun, which I'll be sure to get. I mean, I know I have a lot of uh, rain gun, but this gun is much more useful. Here we have these sucking guys. Um, pain, that's also what we have. But if you take their gun, you can use it to suck out these platforms. I'm just gonna swap for this gun just because it's very useful. This is basically, I think that's the only instance in the game where you have to use a gun. All right, here's the glitch: ring dash off of these, and you'll do a super high jump for some reason. I don't know why you do a high jump there. I guess it's just a problem with the texture. Then stuff. They're not really the texture, but the um, pattern of the polygons. It's not like the, the texture is the color of the thing. I think. Like, how it's colored and such. This gun is basically the weaker version of the Omo Chao gun. And destroying scenery will also get you, uh, evil points, so be careful. Black Doom, shut up. No one likes you. I mean, you're a big purple squid thing, and that's the objective is to activate those things, just four of those. So be sure not to activate those things, because they will probably give you evil points. And I have another chaos control, which is nice, because so I, I think it's 
has some of the stuff. I like the music that plays during Chaos Control. Whoa! Get that checkpoint, because that's the bad thing about Chaos Control. I can sometimes skip to checkpoints. For some reason, they have like really bad ranks on this level. I don't know why. I think I just didn't really care. This level's not that hard. I'm gonna practice when I think I got a C. That's just because I died a lot. If I actually care, I could. I probably might get a pretty high rank now just because my score is like ridiculously high. Like, look at this. It's ridiculous. I'm going back to that thing I'm doing of saying ridiculous a lot. Remember when I used to say that? I was just like, this is ridiculous. Ugh. And then I said it a billion other times. But you kind of kind of got to avoid these things. But once you see a big clear opening when not many bombs going towards it, just use your, uh. Just drop off of it, I mean. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for the opportune time to get by these guys. But this can be a little challenging. But just do it at the right time and you should be good. I always think I'm gonna fall off the wall too fast and I'm gonna die because of it. Don't touch that mouse, we're gonna be right back. I don't know why I said mouse. I think I'm internet shows. I don't know why destroying the scenery makes you get evil points. It shouldn't be good because you're just, you know, uh, destroying the enemy's base. But I, I guess they needed something to be evil about this mission, so they just made that evil. Hey, dude. What's up? Here you're gonna have to trade out for another sucking gun. Where is You have to suck, I'm not quite sure. Whoa. Oh, come on. Okay, good, he's dead. Aha! Okay, I want my powerful gun back. And then I'll use chaos control. Control! I love how this is chaos control and, how, and the music. Seriously, like, if I don't die, I'm gonna get, like, an A rank. Just because of how many points I have. Jeez, you get, I'm probably gonna get a higher score than I am time trial. Or just speed points. So, lesson learned. In this mission, don't try to go for time. Go for points. Just because of how many enemies there are. See, like, these guys are really annoying just because of how they teleport around. And their guns are annoying to dodge. And that's why I want to kill them. Oh god, I didn't know these big guys had guns. Jeez. I got overkill. It's not very overkill, so I don't want to talk about overkill. Jeez, I have so much ammo with this gun. Like, this thing's gonna last me the whole level. I think it gives you 20 ammo each time you kill a guy. Alright, now I gotta go down here and kill some guys for a gun. We're probably gonna get Chaos Control first. Nope, not true. Alright, so up here. And they suck out these platforms to block these lasers. It's actually kind of a cool puzzle. I mean, like you. I mean, basically just pull out the blocks and it seems like you're being really smart, but, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of clever. It's kind of like in the Mars Luigi Superstar Saga and Woohoo Universities where you have to do that, uh, where you have to aim the light puzzles, like, hey, I'm fucking light, I'm super smart for doing that, but no, you, like, you just push a bunch of switches, really. They could have took out the whole light puzzle part of it. It's kind of stupid, in my opinion. I mean, I, I haven't actually played the game, I've just watched a Let's Play of it, but... Uh, it seems pretty pointless. When I got it, I was like, what? That's kind of stupid. Like, why not just put a bunch of switches? Seriously, I'm not even showing any of this level because of that. And it's this game isn't that badly designed. You can't uh, end your chaos control above a pit. That'd just be a huge game-breaking flaw. Because then chaos control will become even... It will become incredibly pointless. There's another one of those, and another black doom projector. I don't think they hurt you. 18,000 points. Jeez. This is ridiculous. I have 8,000 evil points. That's just for destroying everything with my gun. It, like, bounces off to other enemies. It's kind of cool. It's kind of funny. Another chaos control! Where am I going? What the heck? 
don't know why it sent me so far. Like, and there we go. What the? The heck? Is this a switch? Okay, it's a switch. That was kind of pointless. But there we go. That's the mission, and there's Black Doom. I know I kind of skipped over 90% of it with the, the chaos control, but we'll be seeing the level again anyway. And we got that damn purple chaos emerald. We got so many points. That's ridiculous. A rank. It's good because I don't have an A rank on this level. I don't think. And cutscene. The greatest in Koradai. Who else? Die! Okay, this is the good final boss, Black Doom. Of course, you know, you, you, there was, it was inevitable that you had to fight him eventually. But this boss is kind of annoying, not so much hard. Because, like, you can only attack him after he's attacked, which makes no sense. I'm gonna get some guns, because that's gonna be very useful. What's this disc attack, which you can just jump over or stay on this platform? This boss is, again, it's not very hard, it's just kind of, yeah. It's funny how I have no e good points, but I hear a meter is higher up. But again, the points don't matter in the bosses, it's just the time. Like, you can kind of see how he's invisible, but like, it's kind of silly. Like, he doesn't really look that invisible, like, you can't attack him, he just kind of looks, meh. Yeah. That was cool. They were cool. Like there was like a big spiral of rings you have to dash across. They should make that if they have, if they put light dash in like Sonic Generations or something, or another Sonic game. They should make like a like a big spiral of rings you have to dash up. All right. Sometimes they leave like little clones behind that can attack. Kind of like uh, King K Cutout from Sonic. You're not from Sonic. From DK64. How he just how he has like transparent clones that you can't hit. <laughs> like kind of just a strange design, but he was, like what's with all the like weird chains and stuff? But he is kind of generic. Just, oh, I'm the big evil super dark thing from a black comet that comes by every fifty years. Oh, scary. kind of see how people dislike this game. I mean, the story is kind of, like, generic. Because, like, you know, Black Doom being, uh, you know, so generic of a character, and then, like, okay, I lose the time for the worst time. I'm not very good at using Chaos Control to my advantage. Okay, here we go. Here's Slight Chance. Or not. Totally wasted. I think you can fill up your hero meter while, while um, that's happening. So you like you could do some good things and keep your chaos control going for longer. I think. No, I don't have any rings left. Oh dang it! Wasted so much ammo. Where is he? 
Like now, I can't attack him just because the game said so. What the heck? These attacks are a little difficult, especially when the clones start attacking you and you can't see those. Sonic! Come on! Jeez, I thought Tails was useless. Ugh. At least Tails selected rings. Jeez. Uh oh. One more ring. Need some rings. Any rings? And a rings? One ring. Get your rings here. Wish that existed. Because I need a ring. Oh! What? Stupid clones. No! Ah, oh, dang it, I died. Dang it. Ugh. I think you, yeah, you start with a couple rings. That's it. It is, Sonic! Simple-minded fool. Gotta fight this doof again. Jeez. Again, I definitely advise to get a gun. So some kind of gun. It doesn't really matter what kind of gun. I think there's some rocket launchers here and there. And, uh, the ring guns, of course. And there's also the... I don't know what they're called or what to describe them as. It's like, it kind of looks like it has two ends to it. I really like the variants of weapons. They, the guns are pretty useful. They're not completely pointless. But they, it, it, it is kind of really out of character. My shadow's riding motorcycles and using guns, but... Eh. I mean, it's still fun. That's that's really my main. I mean, it is out of character very much so, but it's a very fun game in my opinion. Nah. Nothing really to talk about. I mean, it just did this thing. Just kind of random stuff laying around, like on these platforms. I don't know why. Like if you just shoot them once, they go away. So it's not like they're big hazards. It's just kind of weird. I guess it was for decoration. Get out of my first blue ring thingy. Okay, switching up his pattern a little bit. He still uses it basically the same things. Alright, make sure to use your gun when he's, like, out of your way, so you can, uh, you know, get some stuff going. I'm trying to use Chaos Control once he's actually vulnerable. CONTROL! I don't think I had enough energy to keep it for that long. But look at Sonic. He's just kind of trying to jump up, and it's just like... And make sure to back away a little bit from him, because sometimes he'll be a little too close and, like, he'll mess up. What's this? Oh, this is this gun. Great. I need this thing. Very useful. Take off a lot more HP. Yeah. Should be able to finish him off with this remaining ammo. I don't die again. No! Just one more hit! One more hit! I got 14 shots left, and I have my only attack. Obviously, we go outside your own attack. By the way, Spin Dash is like completely pointless in this game. I mean, it was never very useful in uh, the adventure games or even Heroes. You know, can you, I don't think you can even do a Spin Dash in Heroes, but like, it's kind of pointless. But here you go! That's Black Doom. Uh, we're done with him for now. We'll probably be seeing him again later. Love this planet. I will not let you destroy it.
But that should be the end. Just a couple more cutscenes. But there you go, that's uh, the hero path we're going to take. And something funny, Yuji Naka, of course, he's the creator of Sonic, to some extent. And uh, something funny, in one of my practice runs of the uh, uh, Marina level, Lost Impact, uh, I saw uh, one of the guys, I was like running around, there's some gun guys nearby, and they said, Get Yuji Naka, to, or it's General Yuji Naka to save me. <laughs> it made no sense, just like, hey, Yuji Naka, he's in this game now, apparently. So, there you go. Fanboys, Yuji Naka is a soldier, I guess. But next week we're going to be uh, looking at the evil side of Shadow. I mean, he's a black hedgehog. I mean, anything black. That was really bad. I apologize for that incredibly stupid and awful comment. Don't, don't mention that to anyone. <laughs> oh my god, I shouldn't have said that. This song playing, uh, All Hail Shadow is what it's called. For some reason it was, like, remade in Sonic 06. I don't know why. I guess they just ran out of songs. Rush 40, running out. That'd be good next time. Did they even make... Did they make the that song for, uh, Sonic Colors, Rush 40? I'm not sure. The, I really like the song, like, the Crush 40 makes. Crush 40 is a fantastic band. Like, of course, uh, Living Learn and Endless Possibilities, those are probably their best ones, but... Like, there are a lot of good ones in this game, too, like All Hell Shadow, and one we'll see later called Never Turn Back. And, of course, I, I Am, which is the main theme, like you saw in the intro. Like, Black Hearted Evil! We still haven't seen that cutscene of Shadow in the Meadow with his apparent headache. Yeah, uh, keep saying that. Hope you guys enjoyed this hero story, and uh, I'll see you guys next week for the evil story, and then we'll move on to some other stuff. Again, this project will actually take longer than I actually intended, because we'll take five weeks for the main stories, and then, like, I guess one for the final story. I mean, it's kind of short, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. And then we'll have, like, three or four weeks of like, uh, extras, like the, not really extras, but the additional levels and missions we haven't seen yet. And by the way, I will be, I'll make sure to show all the levels we haven't seen yet. So, we'll see all the levels in these five runs, just not all the missions. Special thanks to me, because I'm so awesome. weird like you win you win I don't know why that one level in that one boss took 25 minutes it's kind of ridiculous all right in the next part we will be doing the good or not the good we'll be doing the evil side of shadow so I'll see you guys next week for that later